and welcome to another update to the Unity UI extension project. Uh, thank you to everyone for all their contributions, which are going great to enhance the quality of the solution. And only a few controls to go this time, but it was worthy of just getting this update out. Um, as usual, I'll record some separate tutorials for each of the controls, but this will just be a high, high level. So let's dig in. So in this update, we've got um, some new primitive controls and we've actually separated all the primitives into their own area. Um, this is certainly one area I'd like to see expanded going forward in the project to actually have more examples of how people can build primitive systems with the UI system itself. So we've added the circle and down graph and moved the line renderers into this in this area. We've got a new tile size fitter in the layout section. Uh, we've added them some VR components because there's been a high demand for actual VR systems, so having gaze control and VR type input systems. And a few other things, but let's jump straight into a little high level demo. So in this little demo project here, we can see some of the new primitive controls here. So we've got the diamond graph, which can just change how this looks. The cell control is, is a little bit more interesting because the fact that you can actually have fill or no fill, control how many lines, segments, how many how thick those lines are. And one of my favorite things in this, just to quickly show, is that you can also do like the UI image controls, you can do filling as well. So you can even get nice little effects like this or like this. Lots of things we've done with there. The tile size fitter, uh, briefly, is that if you take any normal image and scale it, just scales normally. What some people found they need is that to be able to work by tiles. So setting a basic tile, say 50 by 50, this container will now actually scale the, the elements within it only based on those tiles. Potentially useful. And lastly, one of the bigger controls we had, thanks to the community for supplying this, is a new radial layout where we can set the min ang angle, where the start angle is. Obviously, because this is the UI system, this is fully animatable, can do what you like. Start and end, and also setting how far apart these are. Some great menu systems, but obviously this is only a beginning for this, so I expect this one to go much further. Anyway, so we'll go into more detail in future in a few other updates. Um, in the future, I'd like to see more things like there's a, a mini map control, which I'm trying to bring into the project. I'd certainly just like to see more primitives brought in. Uh, to expand that control so, so people can see not just how primitives are built in script, they can so they can build their own. And I'd also like to do some enhancements on the radial control because there's there's been two things on the wish list for a while now, having a radial layout and also having radial flyout as well. That's a nice base control people can use. So I hope you like the project. Uh, to the contributors, thank you very much. Uh, keep bringing the good work forward. And to anyone else, if you have something to show, add it to the project. Or give me a shout and I shall add it for you. Um, I keep an eye on the forums for anything interesting and uh, my own creations as well. So, on to with the rest of the tutorials. <laughs> 